What's up everyone? Welcome back. It's Tyler and I've got another video for you. Today we are going to be looking at some PSA slab returns. So I'm just going to jump right into it with this first one. It's going to be 15 PSA slabs that we look through. Alright, alright, uh, alright. So let's get right to it. Backside of this one looks great. Don't know what it is. Let's flip it around and I'll try to keep the grade a secret. Ooh, wow, that's a good start. Wow. So we've got a first edition Chansey from base set. Uh, I don't have much to say. To be honest, this card looks really nice on the back. The front looks pretty good. The hollow, however, has some scratches. I'm sure you guys will be able to see those scratches. Chansey cards show scratching very, very easily. Yeah, there you go. So as nice as it looks, you know, when you have the correct angle, when you have the angle that shows the glare and the scratches, uh, it makes me feel like this is going to be either a 7 or an 8 if I'm lucky. So let's check it out. One, two, three, boom. Ah, it's a Nearman 7. That's still really good, though. Uh, this is an excellent card to have as a 7. I think that it's probably worth around, I don't know, 200, maybe 250 bucks. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll have the price pop up somewhere for you, either down here, over there, maybe up there. Who knows? We'll just see how I feel later on. And... Um, very cool. So I'll set that one aside and we'll get to the next one. The next card. Okay, there's that backside for you. The top's got a little bit of Chewbacca action going on. It's okay though. Bottom corners have a little nick each. Let's, uh, let's flip it around carefully. Oh, it's another one. We got another Chansey and it's got the thick stamp just like the other one. The thick stamp means that the first edition symbol that the, uh, there's more space for the one than there is ink squishing that one. It's kind of a counter counterintuitive way to name the stamp. You'd think this would be the thin stamp, right? Because it's got a thinner amount of ink, so therefore a thicker number one. No, incorrect. It's actually called the thick stamp because the, the number one is allowed to be thicker. That's just how they decided to name it. This one's got some scratches too, you guys. Check it out. Uh, Pretty sure I knew this when I sent these in, so this is no surprise to me. This one I think will definitely get a seven, considering the last one got a seven. This one looks to be in very similar condition, although it's got a couple little nicks on the back. I don't think that's gonna make it a six. Let's check it out. One, two, three, bada bing, it's a seven. Uh-huh, just as I thought. That's cool, so we got two sevens. I'll probably end up selling one of those. On to the next slab. I really don't know what's in these. This was just 15 cards that I basically thought would be a value of between 100 to 500 dollars. Because uh, on the PSA website, you can you can buy 15 uh, vouchers for grading uh, for cards between that value range after they're graded, right? So we don't have time for this. Without getting boring, this is 15 of those cards. I like to do that. I like to buy those vouchers and and send in 15 at a time. If it's cards that I know will probably be worth more than a hundred bucks, but aren't worth like a thousand dollars or more after they're graded. So here we go. We got another something. Uh, ooh, Alakazam first edition. I love Alakazam. Nice picture. My gosh, what an excellent card. So as you can see, this one's a little different. From that first edition stamp. See how the one is a lot thinner? This is actually called the thin stamp because the one is thinner, even though it's got a thicker amount of ink. So there you go. You get to see both examples right there. The Chansey had the thick stamp. This has the thin stamp. This one looks a little nicer than the Chansey's. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping it got an eight. Maybe it got a seven. Let's check it out. One, two, three. Nice. Boom, we got the eight. Wow, that's so cool. Great. I love Alakazam. Wow. And Alakazam is one of the hardest hollows actually to pull from base set. Uh, I, I hear rumors that he's actually more seldom pulled than Charizard or Blastoise or Venusaur. Uh, maybe they just didn't put as many of him on the sheet as other hollows for the set. I don't know. I'd have to go do some more research, but that's badass. The PSA 8 Alakazam, I think, is actually worth more than 500 bucks. So I appreciate PSA grading this in that value bracket without hitting me with some kind of upcharge. So that's pretty cool. On to the next one. All right, here we go. Mystery card number four. The backside looks really good. I think maybe the bottom right corner has one little tiny little dot of white, but that's okay. Let's flip it around carefully. Boom. Oh, it's a Charizard. Sweet. Damn, we got a, a base set. Unlimited Charizard, 
It's got a little bit of scratching on the hollow there. Let me see if I can get it in the camera. Yeah, there it is. But um, that's not too bad. I, I would expect this to probably be like a PSA 8, maybe a 7 if I'm really unlucky. So let's check it out. Three, two, one. Boom, it's an 8. Oh, that's 8. And 8 is great. It's great. Uh, I think the PSA 8s now, they're all shooting up in price like crazy. It's hard to keep track of you guys, but I think the PSA 8s are somewhere in the 6, 7, maybe $800 range. Maybe an 8 is 800 bucks now. So you'll probably see them listed for that much. What they actually sell for, maybe 10 to 15% less than their listing price. But you can always check on eBay on the sold listings and see what they actually sold for. So that's really cool. Gotta love Charizard. PSAA is awesome. All right, next card. I think there's actually quite a few Charizards in here. So uh, this card looks really good on the back. Little white dot on the top right there. Uh, but other than that, it looks really solid. Uh, oops, almost flipped it without covering. Boom. Ah, it's another Charizard. Sweet. I was right. We got a lot of Charizards in here. Um, there's a little something inside the case right there. I don't think that's on the surface, and that's not on the card. It's a little annoying. Uh, but that's okay. This one's got, I think, a bit less going on in the hollow in terms of scratching anything, so... Maybe this will get a nine, who knows? Let's see, uh, one, two, three, nine. Ah, I got the eight. That's okay, eights are amazing, pardon my language. language. Uh, I should probably not say the F word, but uh, that's how excited I get for Charizards. So, wow, so cool. All right, next card. Let's check this one out. Backside is looking Spicy. pretty good, actually. Uh, oh, yes. I don't see a whole lot wrong with it. I don't know what that means. All right, let's uh, flip it around. Boom. Another Charizard. Wow, amazing. Um, this one looks pretty good. Uh, I think maybe it would get an eight or a nine. It's got small little things going on with it, but let's check it out. One, two, three, boom. Oh, a six. Hmm, that means there's something I'm not seeing here. Uh, or it's, maybe I have this regraded, but... Perhaps the Charizard had some amount of bend in it that they didn't... Oh, maybe there's something going on with the card in the top area. See that? It almost looks like maybe there's something going on at the surface or something there. But anyway, uh, a six. Not quite what I was looking for, you guys, but that's okay. I'll investigate that later and we'll see what's going on. Maybe it really is a six. Maybe there's something I'm not seeing there and it would get a six again, even if it was graded by somebody else. Uh, so onward, let's check out the next card. Boom. Backside on this one's looking pretty good too. Uh, the two corners on the left there have a little bit going on in terms of little bits of white, but that's okay. The other side looks really good. Let's cover it up. Boom, another Charizard. Man, this is great. I love Charizard, so uh, I will never complain about having many of them in a row. All right, this one looks really nice. Uh, it's got some scratching on the hollow. I would imagine that this would get an eight, so I hope it does. Hopefully it's not like a sneaky six or something again. So one, two, three, boom, ah, I got the eight again. Wow, it looks great. Perfect, okay, as expected. This is really good. That's that's a lot of value in Charizards right there already. On to the next card. Backside of this one's looking pretty good. Uh, the corners are all extremely nice. It's just the top side right there in the middle that's got a little bit of uh, chewiness going on. A little chewy bar action. Uh, let's flip you around. <laughs> Another Charizard. Wow. If you guys couldn't tell, I love Charizard. This one is looking sexy. Dang, look at that hollow. That thing is popping out. Um, all right, let's just reveal the grade. One, two, three, boom. Oh, it's an eight again. I was really hoping I would get a nine. And this looks like one of the ones that could maybe get a nine. But you know what? It's actually got a little bit of chipping on the left side. Yeah, you can see that. If you look closely there. It's got a little bit of scratching on the hollow, so you can see the horizontal scratches there. I'm sure it's got a couple little vertical ones somewhere. And then again, obviously, it's got that little bit on the top on the back. So I can see why they would give this an eight, but wow, that's a very pretty eight. My gosh, you're a 10 to me, Charizard. <laughs> 
All right. Next card. Oh, bumping my lights. Sorry, guys. There we go. This card looks really good on the back. The top left corner has got a little bit going on, though. Uh, and the, the centering top to bottom is not the best, but that's okay. I, I can deal with that. It's not usually that distracting for me. Another Charizard. Wow, I thought we were already through most of the Charizards, but okay, maybe this will be a nine. Uh, before I say that, though, let me see. I don't know. There's a little bit of scratching on the foil, the hollow, hollow foil, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm not sure it'll get me a nine based on that. So I'm trying to get it in. There it is. So yeah, just that alone makes me think it's probably an eight, especially with that little bit of corner action on the backside. So one, two, three, boom, it's an eight. <laughs> wow, I have a lot of eights. Uh, so if anybody is trying to buy a PSA eight unlimited Charizard, hit me up. I think I have a couple extra somewhere lying around. All right, next slab looks really nice on the back. Bottom right corner, a little bit of something going on, but that's okay, it doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna flip you around. Another Charizard, but this time it's base set two. And uh, these are notoriously hard to get a good grade on just cause the hollow foil is so sensitive and you can see that it's got a little bit of imperfection going on there. Uh, I guess maybe this is a seven or an eight. One, two, three, boom. Yeah, it's a seven. Of okay. Course. I'm not that surprised simply because the hollow just has some sort of lackluster characteristics going on there. You can see some surface issues. There's definitely a bit of scratching on it if I get the correct angle, but not a lot. Just enough to get it down to that eight range and they probably see the backside's got some chewiness there and so that's how you get a seven. Oh, uh, the top right too has a little silvering in that corner. I don't know if you can see if I can catch it on the, yep. I hope it got it there. Oh, and it's got a little, oh wow, do you see that in the top right corner? There's a little indent in the card. So there you have it. That is exactly why something can get a seven or a six and you would never realize why potentially. See that little indent in that corner? There it is. That's why they're the professionals. They notice stuff like that. And um, and you know what? That's why I trust PSA because they actually notice the tiny things that some people may not. And um, also their slabs are sleek. You know, I can't. I can't find another slab that is nicer to hold than a PSA slab, so you guys win. All right, next one. Let's see. This one, everything looks good except that bottom right corner there. The corners don't look extremely sharp, you know, like the cut could have been slightly better, but they still look good. So let's give that a little spin around. Boom. Another Charizard. Wow. Just a different type. Wow. Uh, very cool. So this Charizard. It looks really good on the surface and everything. I'm not seeing any major imperfections. The hollow has some scratching. Uh, this Charizard is notoriously hard to see the scratches on sometimes, but you can see it there. Perfect. It got the correct angle. I, I'd say this is like a seven probably actually, just because of all those scratches there and the corner's not being super strong. It has a little nick in that corner. So let's see. One, two, three, boom. Oh, a six. Good. Wow. Is this really a six? Maybe I missed something. Is there a little bit? Oh, I did. Haha. -ha. Okay. The backside wasn't as nice as I thought. There you go. Right there. You can already see it. It's got a little indent, a little binder ding. And you know what? It's not from me because I don't use binders with rings. So wherever I bought this from raw, I hope I got a good deal because I did not notice that binder ding. Ah, that's what I get though. I probably was thinking, wow, this is going to be an eight or a nine or something, but no, it's a six. And it's because of that. So be very careful, you guys. Pay very close attention at every angle that you can with a very shiny, bright light with these cards. Otherwise, you may miss something like that. Okay, next card. I think, what do we have left? We got four cards left. Finally. Okay, let's see what we got. Next one up. This one's got a decent backside. It's just got a little bit of white nickage on the edges, kind of going all the way around, like a one white nick there. We got one, doom, doom, boom, bam, bing, bang, boom, bing, bing. All right, so we got a couple little things going on. That's okay. So I'm gonna 
do the same thing. Oh wow, it's another Dark Charizard. Nice picture. Okay, uh, automatically now I want to turn it back around and does it have a binder ding? Because I don't know, does it? Oh, it does. Oh, wow. If only I could talk to myself from two months oh, ago mother. and be like, hey, man, you should flip your cards around every once in a while. See, you can see the binder ding there. So I'm going to guess this this one, if I can speak, I feel like this is probably a six as well. It's got a little bit of scratches on the hollow. It's just that binder ding. I think it, it's like an automatic six. Watch. Three, two, one, boom, six. Ha, huh, how did I know? <sighs> I'm not happy about it. And this See, nightmare for crying out loud. this is one of those times where you're just not, I'm not okay. you don't want to be right. Hey, I'd rather be wrong. How do I get out of here? Oh well, that's okay. Uh, funny enough, those Charizards are still worth some decent money as a six. Uh, just based on the prices, the prices going up so much recently. Uh, they're definitely worth something. So uh, maybe, maybe 80 bucks, 90 bucks, maybe a hundred, who knows? The price definitely popped up, so you guys will know. Uh, all right, this one looks a lot better on the back. I'm looking at the, the edges and stuff. There's no binder dings. <clears throat> There's a little white dot in the corner there. So this one looks solid. Let's flip it around. Boom. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I forgot I sent you out. First edition Dark Charizard Hollow. So, okay. I'm glad if any of them had the dings, it was the non-first edition ones. I think that the Hollow looks pretty solid. It's got the... Uh, it's got a, some small, small scratches. Um, I have a PSA 10 of this card, and it has, actually has a tiny little uh, print line scratch on the sort of black left side part of the hollow, which is just a testament to how tough it is to see the scratches on this hollow. So hopefully that played in our favor, and maybe this got an eight or a nine. Um, let's see. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, we got a nine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. The nines are really, really pricey now. I'm pretty sure the nines are approaching, I don't know, six, seven hundred bucks, maybe getting close to a thousand dollars. It's been a while since I looked. I know that the 10 that I have is worth uh, somewhere in the two to three thousand dollar range. So the nine being about a thousand bucks doesn't really surprise me that much. But wow, that's exciting. Wow, Jeepers. I don't remember how much I paid for this card raw. I just. I know it wasn't in a, an insane amount, because if it was, I would remember. So that's good. Definitely uh, did well getting this one graded. Got the nine. Very oh, nice. Man, I feel like, wow. That's amazing. Cool. All right. Two more cards left, you guys. What is this second to last card going to be? I don't have x-ray vision, motherfucker. Well, whatever it is, it's got a little Nick there, a little Nick there, a little Nick Swartz in there, a little Nicholas Cage in the bottom there. That's okay, though. Uh, I'm usually pretty friendly with Nicks, so. <laughs> oh, the dumb jokes are just nonstop today. So I'm gonna cover it up, flip her around. Oh, it's another Charizard. Oh, man, that's nice. It's got a swirl, too, right in that Money. right side of the tail area. Let me see if I can get that on camera. Uh, okay, come on, there it is, ooh. It's kind of hard to see it, but it still looks really good in person. All right, you guys, uh, this one, centering's great. Corners, not the best. The hollow pattern could be a little better. It's got a couple scratches. You may see them. It might be hard to see them. I think this could be an eight or a nine as well. I don't think it's a seven. So uh, I'm going to hope for a nine. And uh, if I get an eight, then cool. All right, three, two, one. Boom! Oh, we got the eight. That's pretty cool though, because now I have an eight, a nine, and a ten. So I guess I I shouldn't complain. I have the beginnings of a full set. Don't worry, buddy. You're doing fine. Not that I really want a full set, but that's okay. Having the top three grades, that's a really nice problem to have. Wow, very cool. I think the eight has got to be worth uh, like two hundred fifty to four hundred dollars somewhere in there. Again, that's a pretty wide range for a guess. I know. But the prices are going up so fast, I would have to research them every single day to keep up. And um, yeah, unfortunately, I just can't keep up. I'm getting too old. Wow. So this is the final card, you guys. And the backside looks ridiculously nice. In fact, I dare say the backside is completely flawless. I mean, I don't see anything. The corners are perfect. You bet. They're cut nicely. 
it's not perfectly, perfectly centered, but it's not off center enough to denote a grade, in my opinion, or rather to detract. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a Shadowless Blastoise. I remember sending you out. And the crazy thing, okay, check out this Shadowless Blastoise. I was a little bit scared, or not scared, but I was just wondering how this would play out when I sent this out. So I bought this card raw for about 80 bucks. I remember this now. And you can see it's got a little dot of like dirt or something right there on the card. And I tried to clean that off with just like a microfiber cloth that you'd use for like a pair of, of reading glasses. Um, and just, just a tiny bit of water, right? Just to see if I could finesse that little spot off there. Unfortunately, I think that spot might just be ink. But the other thing that was weird is check out the hollow. If you look at it at an angle, it's got this odd sort of texture look to it. And I don't know what how that happens or really how to describe it, but it almost looks like there's a clear coat of, of some kind over the card or something. And I was wondering, what the heck is this? I've never seen this on a hollow. And I wonder if PSA will, you know, maybe reduce the grade because of this. So I guess we'll find out right now. Let's see. Uh, I hope, because otherwise I feel like this could be a nine, probably not a 10, especially with that little dot there. I can't get that dot off there. It's not dirt. I looked at it under a jeweler's loop, which is like a really powerful little magnifying glass. It looks like ink, so whatever. I'll just say, I hope it got a nine. I don't really hope for tens for cards like this. It's too rare, too old, too crazy to hope for that. So let's see, uh, if this gets a nine, I'll, I'll be super happy. So here we go. All right, Blastoise, let's finish this video out right. Three, two, one, boom. Oh my God, yes, oh, it's a nine. Oh my. <sighs> it's been a good day. Welcome to wow, so it didn't really detract from the grade, I guess. Uh, look at, you can see that weird sheen. If you guys have seen that on any of your cards before, please let me know. What the heck is that if you know? But at the correct angle to see the hollow, it looks amazing and it's scratchless. It's got no scratches. It just has that odd, looking texture but when i bought the card i had some faith in it and thought you know maybe it's not actually some kind of defect and it looks like psa agrees it's a nine it's a mint shadowless blastoise wow i'm pretty sure this card is well worth over 500 dollars. i think this is a lot closer to a thousand dollar card right here so thanks again psa for grading this uh outside of its value limitation uh th they generally will do that to a degree um, so hats off to them and, uh, hats off to you guys for tuning in to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. That's all 15 PSA slabs to look at today. Uh, like, subscribe, check out my other videos. I've got some pack openings, some other PSA reveals. I, I like to look at old Pokemon stuff, mostly card related. So, uh, take a look and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.